Hello, good morning. I have a bit of a heel on right now, so I have to like stand a little bit further away than usual. Let me let's prop you up. There we go. Hey, welcome back to another vlog. It's Saturday morning. I wasn't planning on vlogging actually. I realized as I was getting ready that these next few days I'm going to have some good vlog-worthy stuff going on. Plus, I enjoy vlogging, and I'm so used to doing it every week. I mean, it sounds kind of, like, weird and maybe bad to say, but I feel like the idea of just living my normal life and not talking to a camera and documenting it all feels unnatural at this point. <laughs> so today I have three clients, and I'm looking forward to it because we have a storm passing through. Thank you for, like, the well wishes that I got. Oh wait, I was about to put on mascara. I just lifted and tinted my lashes yesterday. Not only do I not need it, but I'm not supposed to wear any. At least until tomorrow. If you guys saw one of my previous videos, I did like my beauty routine. I touched up my roots. I tinted my brows and my lashes. So I'm feeling good today. I'm like all refreshed and it just makes getting ready so much faster and easier and yesterday i washed my hair and i've just been letting it air dry these days because now i have a keratin treatment on it so it just air dries in like a really nice soft wave it just makes my life so much easier did i say something about the storm and then lose my train of thought <laughs> we have a storm that's been passing through. So the temperature has dropped significantly and it has just been gloomy and raining and windy like all day yesterday. But yeah, it's just a gloomy, cozy day. And I have three clients today, but they are all regulars of mine. And they're also all like just really laid back and easygoing. The one is actually my coworker's mom. So it should be a good, like comfortable, more chill day. I love when you have those regulars and you know them pretty well and the conversation just like flows naturally and it's like you look forward to seeing them and it's just like an enjoyable experience um, and easy. And there's not a lot of pressure because like you've gotten in a good routine, like you know, you already kind of know them and what they like and they already trust you and you know, low stress love those kinds of appointments i will see you at the salon so this client comes in once every couple of months and we've just been doing a full head of highlights on her but today she said she wanted to change it up a little bit nothing too drastically different but she just wanted to change it up a little from what we usually do so i suggested doing some low lights that way she could go a little bit darker for the fall it would be a little bit more low maintenance that way too but i was going to just use demi permanent color that way if she changes her mind and wants to go super blonde again in a couple months we can do so no problem so i did about like a half head of low lights and then in the front I did regular highlights so that her money piece would stay nice and bright and I only dragged the highlights down a few inches I didn't bring them all the way down to the ends I told her you know she could see how she feels about it and if she wants to go even darker next time we could but I wanted to ease in I didn't want to you know shock her too too much so it wasn't too different but I think it was just different enough that you know it made her feel it, it gave her that change she was looking for and i love how beautiful and blended it came out hi <laughs> oh my god today was such a good day or it started out like such a good day my first client as you saw her hair came out beautiful we did some low lights altered her tone a little bit beautiful blended chef's kiss and i didn't get clips of my other two clients because the second one was my co-worker's mom and we just do her roots and i don't know i i don't normally like i'm not normally her hairstylist i've just done her hair in the past when she like needs a saturday appointment so i don't know i just didn't get clips and then my last client was my friend maddie and i just forgot to get clips of her hair but i just touched up her highlights and she always leaves with her hair wet because she is just impatient and I mean I don't blame her she usually just like lets her hair air dry anyway because it's curly okay 
this is the time you choose to drink your water. But anyway, it was all good. Like everybody's hair came out beautiful. Everybody was happy. There was no issue. Everything like full flowed smoothly. I'm finally done. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go home. I think I'm gonna like order delivery and I'll just have like a nice chill night. It's like so cold and cloudy out. Like I just wanna have a cozy night. I'm driving home and I get pulled over. I haven't gotten pulled over in years. And he tells me that I was going 50 in a 35. 35? I was on a highway. Like, no way is the speed limit 35 here. And it's not like I'm like speeding, I'm in a rush to get anywhere. Like, I'm just driving at a normal pace, normal speed, just kind of flowing with traffic. Pulls me over, and of course, it's this whole thing because the one day that I don't have my wallet with me, I always make sure I have my wallet. Like I feel incomplete if I don't have my purse with all my stuff. But this morning I just kind of ran out of here and I totally forgot my wallet. And I realized as I was heading to the salon and I was like, oh, well it's fine. I shouldn't need it for anything because I'm just planning on coming straight home. So I didn't have my license on me. So it's this whole thing. He's trying to look it up, but my driver's license is still Pennsylvania. So when he was like trying to pull it up through my registration, it like the address wasn't matching. So I'm trying to like look through my phone, look through my emails to see if I can find like a picture of my license somewhere. And I was able to finally find it, but I'm like just nervously like searching. <sighs> anyway, after all of that, he gives me a ticket for $250 for going 15 miles an hour over the speed limit. I'm not like driving recklessly. I wasn't texting. I'm like, and then he tells me, yeah, so just like go to the courthouse on this date um, at this time. And then like, as long as you don't have like any previous record, um, they'll just like take it off for you. Like that's cool and all great, but like what a complete waste of time now. Not only my time, but like everyone involved. Whoever has to do the paperwork, the actual people there that have like at the courthouse, like this is such a waste of time. Like you, it, it wasn't even like, oh, if you want to fight it, you can. He literally said, here, go to the courthouse on this date. So now in November on a Friday at 8 a.m., I have to go to court. I mean, thank God I'm so grateful that at least I have a job. Like I don't normally work at the salon on Fridays and obviously like with YouTube and stuff, it's very, like, you know, I, my work schedule is very flexible. So thank God I can go. Like if I worked a traditional nine to five, I would have to like take off work to go do that. And who knows how long I'm gonna end up being there for, cause I'm, you know, usually those kinds of things, you're not just like in and out, you have to be waiting around forever. Anyway, but so um, I ordered some Chinese food to cheer myself up. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat this now and sit on the couch and I'm gonna just let it go. Like now I vented about it, it's out of my system, I'm letting it go. I'm not gonna worry about it until November when I have to go to court, but for now, I'm gonna have a good evening. I'm gonna maybe watch Harry Potter or something. Something fall related. Good morning. It's the next day. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm in a better mood <laughs> than I was in the last clip. But this morning I have one client. She's new. I actually have a Google form that I made like almost a year ago now when I first started taking clients again. And it has been a huge lifesaver for me. I highly, highly recommend if you are also in the beauty industry or like any industry really where you're taking clients, make a form like this for yourself, especially if you own your own place, if you have like a salon suite, it just takes a lot of the back and forth out of, you know, like communicating over Instagram DMs and or email text whatever. So yeah, I made this Google form It's so easy and straightforward to do and you can customize it and Do like whatever kind of questions you want you can do like multiple choice kind of questions 
You can have like open-ended questions where they have to type out a response. You can have them upload photos or videos. There's a lot of different options. So on my form, I just ask for like the general information, their name, their phone number, their email. That way, when I am booking them, I don't have to ask for all of that again over the phone. Like it just, I already have it there. It's easy for me to just enter into the computer. And then it just asks them like what their hair history is, like what have they done to it chemical wise in the past year or so not only is that important for me to know obviously because like chemically you know I need to know like do they have box color in their hair have they used sun in like is there anything that could create an obstacle getting to their goal but also it's good insight to see like okay over the past year have they changed their hair a bunch of times are they the type of person that's like really indecisive and like not super committed to one type of style because then if they're asking for something that's going to be like really permanent or really high maintenance you kind of have an idea of like all right well is this gonna be a good choice is it going to be realistic for them it also kind of gives you an idea too of like how frequently do they normally go to the salon um, and these are all questions that like I asked during the consultation anyway but just so that way it gives me an idea of like how often are they like realistically going to come in for touch-ups and then I ask them what their hair goals are and I you know I say like please be as specific as possible like what are you looking for and then I ask them to submit photos of their hair currently in natural lighting and then also upload photos of their inspiration pictures that way I know exactly what they look like, what their hair looks like. So when they walk in, it's not a big shock. Cause sometimes when you're doing a consultation back and forth and you're not seeing them in person, they might describe their hair one way to you. And then when you actually see them for the first time in person, you're like, oh, that's not exactly what I was picturing. Like a few weeks ago, I had a girl that was a color correction and the ends of her hair were bleached. And I talked to her over the phone. Like she just like called the salon. And I booked her over the phone and she told me, yeah, my ends are bleached, but she failed to mention that she had like old rainbow colors throughout the bleached ends as well. So it ended up being a little bit more of a complicated process than what I was anticipating. So the form is fantastic because it just saves a lot of time, a lot of back and forth. And then that way, you know exactly what the client's situation is, exactly what they're looking for and you can better determine a if you're going to be a good fit for them and if their goals are realistic and then b what do they need to be booked for how much time do you need to block out for them etc and also i feel like taking that extra step and the extra time to like fill it all out upload the photos and all that it kind of can eliminate people that aren't actually serious about coming in like the people that are just kind of like booking an appointment on a whim and then are gonna like last minute no show you and I think it just adds like a level of professionalism too like it just makes it feel a little bit more of like a high-end type of experience and it keeps everything more organized for me too because then rather than having like dms on instagram that like get lost in my hidden folder or something like that all of the responses are in one place but this client today filled out that form she is looking to cut several inches off her hair and do like a long bob cut which i'm really excited about because i think it's going to be so cute and then she just wants a balayage she said she's just looking for like really easy low maintenance color and the photos she submitted for her inspiration were like very very rooted i think that it should hopefully knock on wood be a really smooth easy appointment and yeah I don't normally work on Sundays the salon is actually closed today but we are allowed to come in and take clients even when the salon is closed if we want to there just won't be a receptionist there because I'm about to go away next week and be gone for like a month I'm just trying to work as much as I can these next few days and just get everybody in that wanted an appointment that way they don't have to wait till like November and also depending how I feel I might tone my hair while I'm at the salon because there's a couple pieces throughout that I don't know like it's just looking a little bit faded on the ends it's not bad but I feel like you know it could use a little bit of a refresh I did my roots a couple days ago with permanent color so 
like the roots are looking good, but I feel like the ends could use a little bit of, you know, a gloss. We will see, but I'll bring you along. Look how long this client's hair was. Like I said, she wanted to cut it pretty short and she wanted a balayage, very rooted, but a really nice bright blonde. So that's exactly what we did. This was her finished hair. Hi, I'm home and I have packages and coffee. First things first, let's try this because I am dying. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Normally this time of year I just get the regular pumpkin cream cold brew, but I wanted pumpkin, but I just kind of wanted to like change it up a little bit because that other drink is not like as pumpkin-y. It's really just like the foam on top that has pumpkin in it. So I got a shaken espresso. I added pumpkin syrup to it, and then I got the pumpkin cold foam on top as well. It's so good. I was just craving a coffee, and I was literally driving past Starbucks on my way home, and I was like, mm, let me just pull in and get something for myself. Like, let me give myself a little treat. But this morning went really well. My client was amazing. She was super, super sweet, just like easy to talk to. Appointment went really well, and I am so happy with how her hair came out. Oh my God, it looked so beautiful, and she loved it, which always feels good and she hadn't cut her hair short in like almost 10 years she said so she was like I know I want to do this I'm excited but like I also feel like it's gonna take me a little while to get used to it and I might hate it at first but like I definitely want to do this so I was like okay that's fine like as long as you've been thinking about it for a while and this isn't like an impulsive thing I'm not gonna try to talk you out of it because I think it's a great choice especially she has a lot of hair it's really thick but I was kind of, you know, like anticipating at the end for her to just kind of be like, oh, I don't know how I feel, you know, like be a little bit more in shock, but she loved it. Like she was so happy and excited and it just looked so good and it felt nice to be able to like really just take as much time as I wanted and not feel rushed because she was my only client of the day and you know, I didn't have to feel like, okay, I need to be done by a certain time because then my next client's going to be here. So I was able to really take my time styling it really well and get really good after pictures. And, oh, I'm just so happy. I feel like it's been a while since I was able to do that. I feel like these days I'm not able to get as many good after pictures because i just don't have the time usually i think i need to start blocking out an extra like 15 minutes or so so i can have more time to like really style the hair perfectly and then get good pictures because it's nice to have pictures of your hard work but also posting on instagram obviously is like i mean you, you need to be doing it it's huge to promote yourself and get clientele and be able to show off what you're capable of. I used to be so good about getting pictures of all my clients and I don't know, lately I just haven't been, I guess, giving myself enough time for that. But okay, the first package. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I got PR from Olaplex, which if you, know me if you've been following me for a long time i love olaplex so much oh my god and this is perfect because i'm going on my trip and i needed like smaller shampoo and conditioner bottles and i was actually gonna go buy some more but this is perfect oh oh my god so they sent me their shampoo and their conditioner and their number three treatment oh my god thank you so much olaplex i I'm a huge fan and have been for years and years, even long before I became a professional hairdresser. Their stuff has saved my hair on so many occasions and my clients. And like the salon where I work now doesn't carry Olaplex and I, I still sell it to my clients. I'm still like, this is what you need. I highly recommend. <laughs> it's amazing when a brand that you really love and have loved for so long knows that you exist. It's 
so cool. My other packages are clothes. I showed you guys in the last vlog that I ordered some stuff from Cider a couple weeks ago and last week I got most of the stuff from my order but this shipped separately so I finally got this in. Oh, I'm excited, it's so cute. It has that like lettuce, sort of like raw hem. But how cute is this color? Ooh, I'm excited. I'm definitely packing this for my trip. And then lastly, I don't know how this is gonna look on me and fit and all of that, but I got this, I don't know, would you call this a leotard, I guess? It's just like a onesie kind of thing from Amazon. And I love the back. The back is cut out. So I thought that would be cute to wear to work out or even just to run errands or do whatever. But yeah, those are all of my packages. I'm gonna heat up my leftovers from yesterday. Normally Sundays are my day off and they're the day where I like to just stay home, not socialize with anyone or leave the apartment at all, relax clean just reset reset the social battery um so i am gonna spend the rest of the day doing just that <laughs> i'll see you later hey good morning happy monday i've been up since 6 30 this morning and of course today i'm just working from home all day and i was looking forward to like <clears throat> being able to sleep in and then um I don't know, I just like naturally, my body woke up at 6.30 and I was ready to start the day. The sun wasn't even up yet. And I was like, all right, of course, it figures. <laughs> but hey, I mean, whatever. Um, but I've had such bad allergies since I got up this morning. And I think now that the weather is like starting to kind of cool down a bit and it hasn't been as humid, the dryness is just like making my allergies even worse so i think we're entering that time of year where now i need to start sleeping with my humidifier on but yeah so sorry that i am all nasally i took allergy medicine so i'm just kind of waiting for it to kick in but i've been sitting on the couch editing and um my nose this is so disgusting but like this is real life my nose has just been constantly running and that was my pile of tissues i figure it's a little after nine now i'm gonna finally pull myself together um my friend Haley and i made plans to go check out this new coffee shop downtown it looks very very cute and we're gonna bring our laptops and sit and get work done because she runs her own business so she also you know works remotely because my apartment is so small i don't have a designated like work area or office so i usually just sit on my couch or in my bed honestly and just work from my laptop which is fine like i don't really mind it because it's comfy but it is nice to kind of get out of the apartment and sit like at a tabletop. So yeah, we're gonna do that and then we might, after we're done working, go for a nice long walk. And I think the weather's supposed to be really nice today, so it'll be nice to just, you know, get some fresh air too. So that's the plan. Okay, actually, quick little detour. I decided since I'm about to hop in the shower anyway, I may as well just wash my hair and also tone it while I'm at it because I finally got the gloss I need and I was gonna do it in like the next couple of days anyway. So I might as well just do it now. That way I don't have to worry about it later because I still have so much that I need to do. And I'm gonna be getting my nails done in a couple of days. So I'd rather do it now. And that way if I stain the crap out of my hands and nails, it doesn't matter. Lately I've been liking to just do it at the salon because that way it doesn't make such a mess in my shower, but whatever, you know, desperate times. So I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna wash my hair with this clarifying shampoo. This is the Paul Mitchell Shampoo 2. 
just so it can remove like any kind of buildup that's in my hair so that way it'll really accept the color really well. I'm gonna rinse that out, towel dry it, and then I am using the Riken Shades EQ Gloss, Gloss, Toner, Glaze, all means the same shit. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use the shade 4N, and then I have a little bit left over of this 3NB, which is just like a tiny bit darker, but I don't even have like half a bottle in here, so I'm just gonna throw that in, because now that I have all these extra extensions especially, I need a lot of product. So I'm going to mix that up with the Shades EQ Processing Solution in my color bottle, and I'm just gonna put it all over my head, massage it in real good, make sure it's fully saturated, and let it process for 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna shampoo it out, do conditioner, and I'm gonna use my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. I'm excited, because I love this stuff. I usually, I, I have like three or four different shampoos that I really like that I will rotate between. So it's been a while since I've used this stuff, but I love it. I will see you when it's done. All right, I'll be there soon. All right, so good. Bye. Bye. Why do I always do this to myself? Like I always end up running. I mean, we didn't have necessarily a set time, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna get ready and leave soon. But then I decided to hop in the shower and tone my freaking hair and then she texted me while I was still in the shower that she was leaving, so it's like crap. Um, so she just got there, but whatever. It's fine. Um, but the bodysuit is super cute. Let me show you. I'm not wearing like the best underwear under this, but even still, I feel like it's really flattering. Like it, you know, cinches in. It's pretty seamless. So, I mean, this would even be nice to wear, like, a shapewear underneath a dress if you wanted to. But the back cutout is so cute. I'm just going to wear this flannel wrapped around my waist because, A, I feel a little more comfortable like that. And, B, um, it's pretty warm out, but... You know, just in case I get chilly or if we're sitting inside and like the AC is blasting. But got my book bag with my laptop, charger, headphones. I think I'm good to go. Oh, and I have my wallet. I'm gonna bring some lip oil and my phone. And let's head out. And I'm just gonna leave. I've been letting my hair air dry anyway. So we're just gonna go with soaking wet hair. And it, but it's all good but it already looks so good, so dark. So I'll show you later when I get home, once it's dry, how it looks, but I gotta go. Guess who got like pretty much no work done? It was a good time though. We were out for a few hours. The coffee spot we went to was so cute. The coffee was good and it was just a really nice atmosphere and it was just something kind of different. And then we were hungry. So we went and got lunch at another place. Um, and I like, I started to get a little bit of work done, but then we just started talking and yeah, we just got, distracted and caught up in conversation anyway here's how my hair looks now that it's dry uh, i love when it's just like super dark and fresh no red tones at all but now that i'm home i am going to get back on my computer and i'm gonna get a little bit more work done so i'm gonna work for like the next hour or so and then i'm gonna leave again because i really need a pedicure and Haley was actually planning on going to get one tonight too so we called and booked appointments so yeah in about an hour i'm gonna leave and go meet up with her again and we're gonna go get pedicures oh and also this bodysuit leotard thing it's super comfy and I'm gonna keep it on all day because I could like live in this thing it's so comfortable it doesn't 
like the shorts don't ride up or anything when I'm walking and it's not too tight or digging in anywhere and the material is just nice and thick and it's really good quality I am very happy very happy with my purchase so I'll link this in the description anyway that's the update I'll check in later hello good afternoon it's the next day I am feeling overwhelmed to say the least so yesterday because I didn't end up being productive and getting the work done that I needed to do in the afternoon I just did it all when I got home and I ended up staying up working till like 10 10 30 and then this morning I got up around eight o'clock and I've just been working non-stop since then I edited and scheduled two podcast episodes which ugh, those take a while to do because you know they're long each episode is usually around an hour sometimes more but I feel good about that so now the podcast is good and taken care of and Julia is going to record a solo episode and she's gonna you know worry about editing and posting that herself while I'm gone so at least now I don't have to worry about any podcast related things like everything on my end is taken care of until I get back from my vacation but I need to re-record my apartment tour video and then edit and schedule that so that can go up while I'm on vacation and then I have some Instagram content that I need to get for two sponsored posts and then I need to just get like some little additional shots I have an Amazon favorites video all of this stuff by the time you're watching this it should already be up you should have already seen it but I recorded and edited the whole thing already now I just need to record a couple little like close-up shots of some of the items and I just have to add those to the video and then schedule that and fill out the description get all of the links to all of the products that I am showing in the video and I think that's everything content wise that I still need to do before Thursday morning. And I really am not saying all of this to complain and be like, oh my God, life is so hard, work is so stressful. I love what I do. And it's gonna be amazing once I get all of this stuff done and taken care of, that I can literally just go away and not have to worry about anything for the next three weeks and not have to do any work. So this is not me like whining and complaining. I'm just kind of like venting and sharing everything that's going on. Cause it is a lot of stuff. It's three weeks of work that I'm trying to squeeze into just a few days. So, you know, it's a little bit overwhelming, but it's gonna be well worth it. And I'm excited to go on my trip and see my family. Now I am getting ready a little bit. Trying to decide what I want to do because I have one client at the salon at four tonight. So I have less than two hours till I need to leave to go to the salon. So I'm kind of in a hurry because I need to record that apartment video. Like I have to do it today. And I can't wait till I get home because I'm not going to have any daylight. And so the lighting's just going to be funky. And I'm definitely not going to have time tomorrow to film and edit it. So I need to get it recorded today. That way I can edit it tomorrow. I'm so grateful right now though that I toned my hair yesterday. Because that definitely helped take something off my plate. And I still have a bunch of laundry that I need to do. I still need to pack. I haven't even began packing. And my bedroom is a mess. Like I just... Things are chaotic right now. But I know it'll be fine. I know I'm going to be able to get everything done but it's just crunch time you know so it's a little stressful but I'm gonna go finish getting ready record eat and then head to the salon so I'll see you later if you guys want to get this box and try out these products for yourself you can click the link right here and go check out the teas on Instagram by some miracle I was able to finish what I needed to do and I still have like 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes till I need to leave. So 
I'm making some hard boiled eggs really quick. I'm super excited though. I'm getting so many hair products this week. Um, one of the things that I had to record for Instagram was an unboxing video. It's a subscription box from The Tees. I had never even heard of this before, but they do a monthly box and it's like curated products and it's all professional hair products. But I got a bunch of Paul Mitchell Awapui products, which I love. I used to use that line at my old salon. So I got a shampoo and conditioner and a couple treatments. This is like a conditioning treatment for dry hair. This is a gloss treatment, just like a clear gloss. And then this is a texturizing sea spray. I'm really excited about this, especially because I kind of, wait, I might have to use this on wet hair. What does it say? Uh, yeah, spray liberally onto clean, damp hair. Okay, so I'll wait um, tomorrow when I'm getting ready. I'll re-wet my hair and then I'll try this out. Very exciting stuff. Like I said, this client was new. She had been going to another stylist and kept asking for a balayage, but she kept getting just a full head of highlights and she felt like the root area just needed to be stretched out a little bit more. She wanted it to be a little bit softer and more blended so that it would have a nicer grow out. So this is what her final hair looked like. I just basically ended up doing low lights and then a few highlights in the front, kind of similar to my client on Saturday. This lighting sucks, but I'm too tired to care. It's 8.02. I just got home. I took Benny for a walk and I'm about to eat dinner. And I'm so hungry because those hard boiled eggs were not enough for me for an entire day. I also just hate that it's starting to get dark out earlier because when the sun sets, like my body's natural response is to get tired and to feel like, okay, it's it's nighttime, the day is over, it's time to wind down. So even though it's only eight right now, it feels like midnight. So I am making some salmon in the air fryer and then I have some roasted broccoli that I made last night. So I'm gonna heat that up and then I have these Trader Joe's noodles. I'm running really low on groceries, but obviously I'm not gonna bother stocking up on anything because I'm about to be gone for a month. So I'm just trying to make do with what I have and use up what I have. Oh, but my client tonight was so great. Her usual stylist doesn't do hair anymore, so she has been on the hunt for a while to find a new stylist that's a good fit for her. So she seemed really happy, and I feel like we clicked, so hopefully I, you know, got a new regular client. But yeah, I'm gonna go finish making my dinner and eat, and I'll catch up with you later. Hey, good afternoon. I'm feeling less stressed. I stayed up pretty late last night and got a bunch of stuff done. I cleaned up my kitchen, I did a bunch of editing, straightened up my bedroom, put some clothes away. I had like clothes and shoes just scattered all over my room, so I put that stuff away. Oh, and I made my thumbnails and everything last night too. So I have one last little thing that I need to do for one of the videos, but it's practically done and the other one is currently exporting. So as soon as that's done, I'm gonna upload and schedule it. Um, and then same with the other video. And I think I'm good on time because it's about noon now. So I don't need to leave for another like 40 minutes. And I'm just getting ready really quick. I got laundry going. So then when I get home tonight, all I'm gonna have to do is put away my laundry, pack my bags, and I think that should be it. I'm trying to decide too if I wanna leave at like the crack of dawn tomorrow or if I wanna wait till the afternoon. I keep putting in my GPS different times cause you know, it can kind of estimate like what the traffic normally is like during certain times. So I need to see what would be better. If I should leave earlier or wait a little bit. And I guess it depends too if I am able to get everything done tonight before I go to bed. Either way though, I am dreading 
that drive. It's like around 10 hours, depending on traffic. But I'm just gonna have some good podcasts and good music to listen to. Or usually if I start to get really bored, I'll like call up a friend and just talk because that usually makes the time go by faster. I wish I could fly, but I'm bringing my dog with me, but I wanna try this new texturizing sea spray. So I just brushed through my hair and I wet it a little bit so that it's a little damp. It says, spray liberally onto clean damp hair and tousle with fingers, air dry or blow dry with a diffuser, spray on dry hair for additional lift and definition. Okay, so let's see. I hope that this doesn't make my hair like too crunchy. Okay, I'm gonna just let it air dry and I'll show you how it looks when it's dry. Okay, it's officially go time. It's 7.41, I just got home. Luckily, it was a little bit of a slower night, so I was able to leave at 7.15. A little earlier than usual so that's nice and I officially have no groceries so I stopped at Taco Bell on my way home and got a quesadilla so that's gonna be my dinner I'm gonna eat that and then get everything done get everything packed up and be ready to go and I'm gonna pack up the car tonight because like I said earlier I keep checking the traffic like keep checking the GPS and I think my best bet is gonna be leaving as early as possible. I'm gonna try to leave here by 6 a.m. at the latest, and I think that's gonna be my best bet because literally any time after that, it just keeps adding time to the drive, and if I wait even until 8 a.m., it's gonna add like a full hour to the drive. So that's the plan, and I also wanna try to get everything done tonight as quickly as possible so that way I can go to bed at a reasonable time because I am so exhausted and I need as much sleep as I can get. It's like half one right now. It is early. It is Danielle's birthday. I was able to fit all of my stuff for Italy in that carry-on suitcase. This bigger suitcase is gonna be my stuff for Pennsylvania because when I get back from Italy, I'm gonna be in PA for a week. And I need to bring separate stuff for that because the weather is gonna be a lot colder there. I'm finally done. It's 11.33. I packed everything up in the car. I just have this one last bag that I'm just gonna throw stuff in in the morning, like my laptop and charger and I'm busting out the old vlog camera because I want to vlog the Italy trip, but the camera that I have been using to vlog lately is quite big and bulky. So this one, the quality is not going to be quite as good, but this is like so nice and small so I can just throw it in my purse. I think that's it. I think I'm done and can finally go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for spending the last few days with me and coming along on this crazy ride. Stay tuned, because the next one is gonna be my Italy vlog. I am so excited. 
Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you really soon. Bye.